Hello, everybody. I want to thank all of you for coming out to tonight's screening of Shocker. First, I'm going to call up Brian Collins from Horror Movie A Day, who is the world's number one Shocker fanatic. And he is going to get the show rolling. Hello. Hello. Indeed, I am the world's biggest Shocker fan. Uh, we got an awesome lineup here. This is like one of the best lineups we've had in a while here. Uh, we got several actors from the film. First, I want to bring up, let's see, who's like, I don't want to make people cross over. We got Mr. Richard Brooks, who played Rhino in the film. <laughs> we got, as far as I know, the only man that was killed by Shocker and Jason, Mr. Vinny Gustafaro. <laughs> We got a guy with the unfortunate character name of Pac-Man, Mr. Ted Raimi. Yeah. And, this, and this is how I love you and I. I looked for every actor from this movie. I even found a guy. He has one line in the movie. He plays the male neighbor of Peter Berg's character. But he also wrote and directed the film. Mr. Wes Craven, everybody. <laughs> We got one guy that got to play Shocker, we got one guy that got killed by Shocker, and we got the only guy, I think, in the movie that doesn't get possessed or killed by Shocker. That's pretty cool. Um, how long has it been since you guys have seen the movie? 20 years. 20 years? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 haven't seen, I haven't seen it, I think, since it came out, though I own it on everything. I owned it on, well, I think, maybe Betamax, I don't know. Any <laughs> VHS, you know, DVD, but I have I haven't seen it recently. I have. I'm afraid. Three, I, I don't have, want to see that guy. I have two teenage sons. When they came of age, I show it to them. Nice. <laughs> it's a regular in our house on video. <laughs> yeah, and I just saw it with my uh, little niece, my seven-year-old. Like, I was in it. So she said, "Okay, I don't like scary movies, but you're in it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it." I can't remember. I think it's been almost since back when it was made. A long time. It'd be fun to watch it. Yeah. Right. By the way, the, uh, the the girl who Peter Berg stops and uh, never mind. No, no, it's uh, yeah, that is my daughter. <laughs> There's a girl at a concession stand. I just have to mention that's my daughter. Oh, yeah. oh and my son gets shot in the park. <laughs> <laughs> I, killed, I killed my kids off in that movie. <laughs> um, did you, now, you played a football player, I and mean, you actually tackled Vinny at one point, which I forgot about until I watched it again the other day. Uh, did you actually, did you do a lot of your own stunts, did you? Uh, I think we did, we did a lot of our stunts, right? Yeah, we had a lot of fun running around and tackling people and doing everything. Yeah, it was, it was a big, it was a blast. I especially like all the stuff we did in the park. That whole big park day, it looked like we had like, I don't know, what about three or four different locations running through the park, yeah. and you know, you took the tractor and all that stuff, yeah. It was great. <laughs> Um, and now, Vinny, now you actually got possessed by Shocker at one point. Did you actually work with Mitch at all? Did he give you, like, this is how I do it, or did you just do your own? No, life? I know Mitch as an actor, and yeah. we knew each other on the set, but we actually didn't, we weren't in any scenes together. Yeah. His body jumps into that lady, mm -hmm. and she kills us in the car, and later I'm painting her. Spoiling the hell out of the movie. Spoiling the hell out of the movie, sorry. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't, no, I just know Mitch as a guy. I love him. I wish he was here tonight, so there you go. But uh, I remember having a lot of fun with how physical the movie was. I remember uh, Mr. Craven here saying to us, doing a movie like this is doing Greek tragedy. And just let it hang. And, and that's pretty much what I think a lot of us did, so. Now, Wes, I mean, the thing that, most, that resonates with most people, I think, about the movie is like, like, oh, the killer goes in and out of the TV. But that's actually like the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes of the movie. Was that something that you had in mind when you started writing it, or is that something that kind of popped in in the process? No, it was, uh, it was part of the concept of, um, it was uh, thought to be sort of a similar thing to Freddy being in dreams. Um, so I thought, what is another nether world that we all live in, and it's sort of the electromagnetic world of recorded music and television and all those sort of psychic spaces we go into through these media. So I thought it'd be fun to have something, somebody who could go through wires and come out there. There was a there was a there was a character on television uh, 
forget what it was called, somebody had, uh, that, that just started the, the ball rolling in my head, so. Uh, Max Headroom? Yeah, Max Headroom, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was actually the same special effects, uh, visual special effects guy who, who did ours that did that. And I thought it'd be just a lot of fun to have a character who was able to go through any, any wire, any transmission of uh, electromagnetic forces, so that's how I got onto it. All right, Ted, now why is your character called Pac-Man? I never understood this. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I don't know, because I think by 89, I think that game was really yeah. on its way out. Because <laughs> they had console gaming at that point, so I don't know, but um, I, I think it was more of an endearing term, if I'm not mistaken, that they, they, they wrote for him. So I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, I, th I think that's it. But uh, I do remember, I, I learned, I don't know, but I learned a really important lesson on that movie from all the, that was the first horror film I ever did. I've probably done like 50 pictures or something since then. But I learned a very important lesson, never die with your eyes open in a movie because you'll have to stay that way for every single shot. <laughs> Ad infinitum for the rest of the shoot. I, I do remember that. That was a bad, bad idea I had to do that. And I'm a little upset at Wes that he didn't stop me uh, on the first take. Laughed. I remember he laughed. He thought it was funny. I thought it was funny too for the first ten minutes, <laughs> and it just wasn't. You know. um, we were, we tried to get Mr. Peter Berg here. He's up in Seattle right now, but I mean he's gone on. He's had an amazing directorial career, actually, more than his acting. Can you guys talk? You all get to work with him in the movie. Um, can you talk a little bit about working with him? Was he bugging you for directorial advice even back then? Or? Um. No. <laughs> he was the last person I thought to end up where he's ended up as a you know, director and producer. He was kind of, a, kind of a goof off. Peter was interesting. He, I think he'd done one, one film, if I'm not mistaken, before ours, a motorcycle racing film of some kind. And uh, before that, he'd been a grip. So he was like a really interesting young guy that just was kind of a very natural, funny, loose, I remember once we were doing a shot in the, in, in the bedroom scene and he was in his underwear doing the scene, and he looked down, and his long as you know, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> he didn't care at all. He was just kind of a, a very interesting guy, and uh, I was very delighted to hear and see how far he's, he's come. He's really uh, has a remarkable amount of talent. I do, I do, I do remember, though, that, because that was the first movie I'd done, I thought all directors were like you. So I, I, came, I came away thinking all directors were very mellow and good with actors <laughs> and didn't yell and knew just what to tell their crews. <laughs> so in that way, that was a bad movie to start. <laughs> it really was. We got a question. Oh, we got a question. I have a question for Wes. Um, was it a constant, conscious decision to make uh, a good deal of the movie funny as opposed to really scary? Because there's a lot of like slapstick elements. And when you're writing it, did you... I can't help myself. I just <laughs> <laughs> I tend to be funny from time to time. No, it's just a, it just is a style, and uh, I don't like being totally, totally serious very often. And most of the films I've done have humor in them, whether it's recognizable or not. So, <laughs> no, so it wasn't not some great plan. All right, so just, let's start the. Oh, oh let's wait, go one on. more. Wait, what's everyone doing now? Oh. Stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, uh, right now. I'm directing. I'm directing a, a web series at the moment, and um, uh, getting ready to do. Thank you, Vinny. And um, actually, I gotta say it also. I, uh, Vinny, Vinny had a lot to do with me having. A, so I compliment you. Had a lot to do with my career because during this movie, I, I remember it's my first movie. I was going bananas. I was 22, just gotten out of school. And I couldn't control myself. I was like, ah, movie, ah, Wes Craven, ah, blah, blah. And I'd seen Vinny in uh, a bunch of movies at that point, especially in Things Change, which I'd watched like a million times. And I remember I was walking on the set, and he was walking up. I don't know if you remember this or not, but Vinny said to me, Ted, I went, yeah. He went, calm down, <laughs> focus, and relax. <laughs> I went, oh, I think that's really good advice. But uh, um, that's what I'm doing now. I'm uh, just directing. 
Uh, hi, yeah, I'm working on a, a film now that's being directed by Jason Gedrick. Uh, if people know him, I guess, from Iron Eagle, an old movie that was out a long time ago, and a couple of other things. I think he was a husband on Desperate Housewives or something like that. Uh, but he's a really good guy. I've known him most of his life, and so I'm working with him on that now. I'm, I'm uh, doing a guest, bar on a guest spot on a TV show that's airing this week, Criminal Minds. So, I, you know, I stay active. I'm, I'm a lucky guy. I go away. I do Broadway. I come back. I do off-Broadway. I go to regional theaters. I do a little bit of TV, a movie here and there, and I stay busy as an actor. I'm very fortunate. So thanks for asking. You're teaching too, right? Yes, and I teach. I have a studio over in North Hollywood where I uh, have an acting studio. So there you go. Called the sport of acting. There you go. Let's get a pitch. That's good. So TV series there. Um, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> um, actually, this year, let's see, it's uh, 2009. So I started in the business in. Uh, in 69, so uh, I've been, this is, I'm starting my fifth decade. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm just doing geriatric work, and, <laughs> you know, polishing my wheelchair. Um, I'm a, sort of a, just a little bit past two years into um, a project that we've called 25-8. There's a young actress here who is in it, one of the Riverton Seven, one of the seven children born on the same night of a uh, serial killer's death who had seven personalities. Well, you know, why don't you stand up? Nope. The next Goldie Hawn. <laughs> wonderfully, wonderfully and um, that's uh, being done for Universal. It was originally done for Rogue Pictures um, under Andrew Rona, who used to work with Bob Weinstein, so I've known her for many years. And it's now um, part of uh, Relativity. It should be coming out in spring. Very excited. It's the first thing I've written, as well as directed, in since uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. So it's kind of, I hope, will be one of my signature films. And uh, I hope you all come see it uh, come spring. Well, I just have to say that, that Wes looks almost exactly the same as when we did this, <laughs> yeah, he does. this movie. I mean, I'm looking at him and everybody teaches sure. me about like not aging, but I mean, you look great. I can't believe it, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like Never four, smoked. 50 more years, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. So yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm doing pretty much the same as every, all the other actors. I'm working uh, independent films, television, trying to do a little directing and writing. Uh, I have some music coming out. Uh, I'm working on an album that's uh, going to be released uh, probably by the end of the year, early next year. And uh, same out there, we'll keep it going. That's what we do out here. Guys, thank you all so much for coming out. Guys, it's awesome. Ted, Vincent, Richard, Wes. Another awesome. round of applause for the three guests. Uh, thanks to Universal also for helping us out locating some of these folks. And a quick reminder, please no texting, talking, acting like a jerk during the movie. Please enjoy yourselves and have a good night.